Hi YouTube, this is Hazel Four Eyes. Uh, today's title is actually it's a uh, Benny Benny Hinn is a false prophet. Now, I use the name specifically in the title of Benny Hinn is because he's a well-known uh, false prophet teacher in the world. Okay. Before going into what is uh, a false prophet and what's a true prophet, I'd like to express that many people don't read the Bible. All right? Uh, instead, they turn to uh, preachers or priests who claim they are sent by, sent by or they talk to God. This video is not solely on Benny Hinn himself, but on all false prophets. Okay? I would not give my opinion. My opinion means nothing. In fact, I will show you in the Bible what it says about prophets. A prophet is a man called by God to speak for him, to submit a message to the world. A prophet receives commandments, prophecies, and revelations. Any prophecy given must come true. In fact, a sure prophecy is given to prove he is sent by God. If it does not come true, the man is a false prophet. Benny Hinn's predictions have not come true. None. I'm going to read to you in Matthew 7, uh, chapter 7, verse 15, what it says. Like I said, I'm going to pull this out of the Bible. Matthew chapter 7, um, Sorry about the, uh, just saw I lost my place. I think it was chapter 7, verse 15. Let me double check. Yep, chapter 7, verse 15. It says, I don't know how I got that chapter. Next time I'll be more prepared. 7, 15. This is what it says. And it's in red letters in the Bible. Um, red letters in the Bible is what Jesus has said and this came out of his mouth. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. All right? This is what false prophets do. You will know them by their fruits, these false prophets. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs? from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. So a bad teacher, bad prophet, like Benny Hinn, bears bad fruit. A true prophet. In fact, let me do false prophet and I'll do true prophets. False prophet worked for political purposes to benefit themselves. True prophet. Works for spiritual purposes to serve God and the people. A false prophet holds positions of great wealth. Do you know how much uh, Benny Hinn is worth? True prophets owned little or nothing. False prophet gives false messages. True prophets speaks only true messages. False prophets speak only what the people want to hear. Does Benny Hinn say some things that you like? Hmm? True prophet speaks only what God tells him, no matter how unpopular. Is Benny Hinn unpopular or popular? He fills up 
football stadiums. Does that say he's unpopular or popular? In Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 20, it says, But a prophet who presumes to speak in my name, anything I have not commanded him to say, or a prophet who speaks in the name of other gods, must be put to death. In the Old Commandments, they put false prophets to death. In verse 21, it says, You may say to yourselves, How can we know when a message has not been spoken by the Lord? If what a prophet proclaims in the name of the Lord does not take place or come true, that is, a message the Lord has not spoken, that prophet has spoken presumptuously. Do not be afraid of him. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 14 Then the Lord said to me The prophets are prophesying lies in my name I have not sent them or appointed them or spoken to them They are prophesying to you false visions idolatries and the delusions of their own minds Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 16 this is what the Lord Almighty says. Do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They will fill you with false hopes as healings. They speak visions from their own minds. Okay. Not from the mouth of the Lord. Matthew chapter 24 verse 24 For false Christs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and miracles to deceive even the elect. The elect are the ones that are saved. If that were possible, see, I have told you ahead of time. These are to people who are saved, these are people who are not saved, or these are people who's confused if you're not sure if you're saved. Okay, you believing and following false prophets is not going to get you to heaven. Okay, the Bible, the Bible, the Holy Bible, has a beginning, starts with Genesis, ends with Revelation. The Bible has a beginning of Earth's time and even to uh, uh, end of Earth's time, all the way to when Christ comes back. Okay? Everything in the Bible, prophecies, most of them has already came true. There is no need for more prophecies in our day okay later on during tribulation there will be two prophets but till then there is no other prophets the Bible does not speak of other prophets besides those two be before Christ's return okay if you want to uh, know for sure that you are going to heaven. Let me ask you this. If you was to die today, where would you go to? Do you know for sure if you would go to heaven? The Bible says you can know if you go to he if you can go to heaven, if you know you're going to heaven. Not a maybe, not sometimes, yeah, I trust in Christ as my savior. And then I did something bad, I sinned, so now I'm confused. Jesus died for all our sins, past, present, and future. That is the good news, that is the gospel. John 3.